am going to show you how to make your own paper dolls and paper doll fashions with no paper folding tabs. I'm going to show you how to make the outfit so it can show in the front and in the back like these paper dolls that I made years ago. Now first what you're going to need is a pencil with a good eraser and a dark ink pen like a black ink pen. I've got various pencils for coloring. You can also use crayons, markers, and I've got some sketch paper, although computer copy paper, it works well too because it's not too thick. I've got a good pair of scissors, and I've got some Scotch Clear masking tape. It comes with a roller here so you can tear it off easily. All right, so let's do this. Let's sketch out a body. We are going to sketch out a body model, a headless body model. Out the head. Okay. We're gonna kind of make it like a nude Barbie doll. Okay. And if you're not good at sketching, you can always go to Google Images and find a paper doll body model that you can perhaps print out and trace over. Perhaps I'll provide a link. As you see here, just making an outline of a body model for the paper doll and the paper doll fashion. First, I'm going to sketch it in pencil so that I can be able to erase the mistakes. You see it here. Let's have little details. Okay. And now we're going to go over it with a black ink pen. And we want to make sure to make some deep, dark strokes over the outline and the details because we want to be able to put another piece of paper on top of this and make a tracing of this body model. We want to be able to see through another piece of paper. You see I've made details here within the outline. Also, I want to be able to turn it around and I'm going to also draw the back. I'm going to trace the back of this body model. Okay? So, yeah, we want to go over it also with ink. First, in pencil, of course, we'll go over it with ink so that we could be able to see this body model through another piece of paper. And it's always good to draw these outlines on top of white paper and have white paper underneath or white background underneath. Okay, so the front and the back, you see here, the details in the back. over now let's get another piece of paper and we're going to trace our paper doll on top of this headless body model okay so you should be able to see through the piece of paper I don't know if you guys can see it but I can see it okay and first of course we're going to trace some pencil and let's hold the paper steady we don't mess up and trace another body first in pencil and then go over it and get the ink pen. Now we're going to add a head. A head, face, some hair. Because this is our paper doll. Now I know that not everyone's good at sketching, but this is for fun, okay? Doesn't hurt to practice. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to
follow the outline and make the back of this model on the same piece of paper. Okay. I can see through this piece of paper. I can see the outline on the front, although you may not be able to see it. But you should make this dark enough, you should outline it dark enough so that you could be able to see the outline through the paper on the other side. And if you put another piece of paper on top of it. Okay. Always first going over with pencil and then with a good ink pen. Black ink pen. Outline it. Okay. The shoulders are kind of <laughs> not so symmetrical. But you see it the little details. You know, it's like a new Barbie doll. Okay. Showing the buttocks and the heel and back. All right. So it's the fun part. Let's start coloring. It's kind of work. Understand I use about three shades of brown. I'm going to color the front and back. But yeah, I use three shades of brown for her complexion. Some shading and highlighting and all of that. But I'm not putting too much detail into this paper doll. I'm just trying to show you guys. And this is for fun. All right, and in coloring the back of her hair, do not use a marker or ink pen, okay? Because you don't want that to show in the front on her face. So in coloring on the back of the hair, just stick with the color pencils or crayons. Okay, so here's our doll front and back. All right, so now I'm gonna take this masking tape, this clear masking tape, and I'm going to carefully go over, I'm gonna place it over the doll fully covering the doll with this clear masking tape. I'm gonna smooth it down, no bubbles, no air bubbles, no wrinkles, do it as smoothly as I can. I want the paper doll to be totally covered with the masking tape on the front and I'm gonna put some masking tape on the back, okay? This as carefully as possible. I hold the paper still. Try not to fold the tape or get any hair or anything on the tape. Okay, smooth it down. No wrinkles, no air bubbles. Okay, we want the entire body from top to bottom, from her head to her feet, to be covered with the masking tape, the clear masking tape. I use scotches. All right, front and back. And now we're going to cut this paper doll out. Okay, I'm going to cut the paper doll out. I'm not going to cut in between the legs, but let's first cut around the doll's body. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut right in between the hair and neck, right up to the chin, okay? And I'm just gonna cut around the body, inside up to her armpit, okay? I'm not cutting that white part out on the inside. Okay, so you see how I've cut it? I'm not gonna cut in between the legs, however. Okay, so now, let's take a piece of paper and we are going to make a fashion. I'm gonna make a dress for this paper doll. I'm gonna sketch it in pencil, putting a piece of paper over the body model that we originally made. I'm gonna sketch a dress over it. I can 
see through the paper. You should be able to see the body model through the paper. Okay, and that body model we're gonna keep for making more paper dolls and more fashions. Yeah, and you see in here, that was around where her legs were. I'm gonna cut that part out, so let me mark, and I'm gonna cut it out so that her legs can show. Her skin color and her legs can show through that little opening, okay? So it's kind of like a mermaid like dress that I'm making. Okay, and I'm gonna make some shoes here around feet. Okay, and outlining it, going over it with a black ink pen. Okay, so you see here. Again, I'm going to cut that little section out. And those are shoes. Now, I could trace over the back of the body model, but I'm going to turn this dress over that I just sketched. I'm going to uh, turn over the paper, and I'm just going to trace on the back of this. I'm just going to trace the back of this dress on the back side of the paper. And ink so that I can put another piece of paper on top and make the back of the dress. I think that will be easier because it will match up with the front of the dress better. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here. I'm making the front of the dress and the back of the dress. And I'm going to be coloring them separately and cutting them out separately. Okay, and put little details to let you know that it's the back of the dress. Okay, and I'm going to write front of the dress so that I can remember. And this is the back of the dress. Okay. So let's color. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not focusing on shading, highlighting, and all that. But let me indicate that this is the back of the dress, you know. And coloring the front and back of the dress. Okay, I'm not really concerned about how three-dimensional this looks. I'm just trying to do something really quick. And once I color the front and back of the dress, I'm going to be going over it, front and back side of the paper, with the masking tape. Making sure to do this as carefully as possible. No folds, no air bubbles, well, as best as I can. Get no hair or dirt or anything in between the tape and the paper. Front and back on both the front and back of the dress, okay? Yeah, even on the inside, put the tape. Okay, and once I do that, we're gonna cut it out. But first, let me cut out that part on the inside where the legs can be seen, okay? And let me cut around the dress carefully, carefully, carefully. Do not go inside those lines. Okay, so I cut out the front and back of the dress. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dresses together. And you see there's the opening right there that I cut out. So what we want to do is put the front of the dress together with the back of the dress. So we're going to take a piece of tape, like about a quarter inch. We're going to tear off a little strip, a little tab. Let me place this together. We, we're going to put a little piece of tape on the widest edges, okay, like at the shoulders, where the shoulders meet the dress and where the hips meet. That's at the widest point. 
and we're gonna just put a piece of tab on the edge, like at the shoulder, at the top. Get a piece of tape connecting the front and the back of the dress by the shoulder. Piece of tape on there, fold it over. Scott's tape is good to use. Okay, don't use any cheap tape. All right. Yeah, see, we're gonna be connecting at those points, like at the hips and at the bottom. That's where we're gonna be putting the tape. So we're gonna um, need about six strips of tape. Six little strips of tape that I'll put on the edge of my table. Okay. All right, so let's put the dress together again. Let's do this again. I'm gonna connect at the shoulders. Folding over. And take the scissors and cut off the excess tape. Because we don't want any tape hanging off the dress. Okay, you see, I can open it here, but it's connected. See? Okay, so let's connect at the other shoulder. Okay. Now let's connect at the hips, at the widest part of the hips, because we're going to try to slide the doll inside of here. Okay. And a little small little tab of tape, so that we don't have to use paper tabs. Yeah, I never really liked with the paper tabs. Easily, you know, dress easily, or the outfit falls off easily. Okay. At the widest point, the hips. at the widest points. All right, so the dress is taped together. So what we're gonna do is we're kinda, kinda slide the doll inside the dress. Okay, oops, opened up the top, opened up the shoulder, but we can take it. Slide in there, you may have to kind of fold her a little bit. Slide her down, slide her into the shoes, and there you have it. Front and back. We have our paper doll, and we have our paper doll fashion. Front and back. No paper folding tabs. 